The FM Red Hawks back in action at Newman Outdoor Field tonight as they welcome the Chicago Dogs into town to open up their newest series. But before the game could get started, the Red Hawks took some time to honor one of their all time greats, retiring the number 33 in honor of former manager Doug Simonick. Simonick was with the Red Hawks for 22 years, becoming the winningest manager in independent baseball history in the process. Simi, as he's known by the team, was named manager of the year six times and won five championships with the Red Hawks in the Northern League. It was also announced that Simonick would be inducted into the American Association Hall of Fame during the All-Star break coming in July. He took a few minutes to reflect before first pitch as he was back in front of the fans at Newman Outdoor Field. You people really turned it on. You filled this place every night. It was a wonderful event. Every game meant something. It was baseball 24 hours a day. Thanks for the unveiling. Hope we can see each other again soon. And uh, let's play ball. You heard the man, let's play ball. Not necessarily baseball weather out there, but nothing the Red Hawk fans weren't ready for. Evan Alexander getting the bats going in the bottom of the first inning, and firing this one into the right field. He arrives safely on second for the first hit of the game. Now it's time to bring him home. Dylan Thomas knocks this one into left field and it just keeps rolling back. Alexander comes home. The Red Hawks lead one to nothing. They're going to keep that advantage until the top of the third. Chicago with the bases loaded. Ryan Lidge with the grounder here. Throw over to second for one out and to first to complete the double play. Good news, bad news for the Red Hawks as they get two outs on the board. But Chicago cuts the Fargo Moorhead lead in half. And the dogs aren't done either. Nick Heath up to bat with two runners on. An absolute laser into right field. The dogs grab their first lead of the game. This one got off to a later start, so there's, they just finished up action at Newman Outdoor Field. Hawks winning this one 10 to 6. Just went final. The fourth inning is when the Red Hawks finally got some distance, building an 8 to 2 lead at one point. Rookie pitcher Jake Dykoff grabbed his first professional win tonight. These two teams will meet throughout the weekend. They play tomorrow at 6 and then at 4 p.m. on Sunday. Minnesota Twins halting a losing skid tonight with a 10 inning win over the Toronto Blue Jays. All three runs were brought in by the hero of the day, Michael A. Taylor, tying it up with uh, at two with a home run in the fifth, then bringing home the game winner on a sack fly. They have two more games north of the border before they return to Target Field next week. And in case you missed our highlights from the historic victory tonight for the Dilworth Glendon Felton softball team, the Rebels winning their first ever state title tonight. The Rebs knocking off the second seeded St. Charles Saints, securing the double A crown with this play at the plate in the seventh inning. DGF had to defeat the fourth, first, and second seed teams in their Cinderella tournament run. They finished the year with just two losses. The main reason I wanted to mention that again, I just wanted to show that last play one more time. It's incredible. The emotions, it's so fun. Yeah. Love sports. Good sports for are them. Fun. That, yeah, that's just the best. <laughs> Congrats to the Rebels. Definitely. Thanks, Devin. And Hutch is back right after the break with a last look at your weekend forecast. Stick around.